please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please take your seats. I'd like to introduce the principal of the Buckeye Union High School District Learning Center, Dr. Karen Sanders. Thank you, Jared. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Dr. Karen Sanders, and I have the pleasure of being the principal at the Buckeye Union High School District Learning Center. I would like to personally welcome friends and family joining us for this momentous event, the very first virtual graduation celebration. Before we progress through the program, I would like to acknowledge district administration for supporting the Learning Center and all of its students, especially during this challenging last quarter. I also want to take this opportunity to thank our governing school board members for their unwavering support they have always shown for faculty, staff, parents, and students. Last but not least, I want to thank the Buckeye Union High School District Learning Center faculty and staff for their dedication and commitment to our entire student body. The uniqueness and success of the BUHSD Learning Center is a result of the partnerships the district has formed with two outside private day schools. I would like to recognize Excel and Desert Choice Schools for touching the lives of district and out of district students attending the Learning Center on a daily basis. For the past nine years, we have all been honored to share in the success of the Learning Center and its graduates. The diversity represented on this campus is one of the reasons we love what we do and truly enjoy coming to work every day. The Buckeye Union High School District continues to offer opportunities for students to meet their learning needs and prepare them for post-secondary aspirations. This year's graduates represent eight separate programs in five schools offered on and through this facility. Every year is filled with challenges, but this, this last quarter has proven to be the ultimate. On behalf of the Learning Center staff, we commend the dedication and effort each of you graduates have demonstrated. On a personal note, I just want to tell you how proud I am of every one of you. You are all very unique in your own special way, and I wish you a happy, healthy, and prosperous future. Just remember, it's not moments of struggles that define you. How you handle them is what matters. It has been such a pleasure spending most of the school year beside you. At this time, I would like to introduce our keynote speaker for the evening, Brigadier General Retired George Canellas. He received a Bachelor of Arts in Economics degree in 1969 from Lewis and Clark College in Portland, Oregon. After that, he joined the U.S. Navy serving as a flight officer and then deployed aboard USS America in 19, 1972, flying more than 75 reconnaissance missions over Vietnam and Laos. In 1975, he received a Master of Regional Planning from the University of Pennsylvania in Philadelphia. It was after this where a career in Alaska with the Department of Community and Regional Affairs began. In 1978, he also began serving in the Air National Guard, flying throughout Alaska, the Pacific, and around the world on training and operational missions and deployments. In 1992, he served as mission commander for Alaskan air crew and maintenance personnel, deployed as part of Joint Task Force Provide Relief, based in Kenya, flying famine relief into southern and central Somalia. Central Somalia. He capped a 32-year military career as a Brigadier General commanding the Alaska Air National Guard. While I have only skimmed the surface of his military career as a father of one of our graduates, I want to say to him a personal thank you. It has been such a pleasure meeting and working with you these past few years. You are truly an inspiration, not only for the dedication you have shown during your career, but also as a truly kind human being that gives back to our youth. Please join me in welcoming Brigadier General Retired George Canellas. Oh, there you guys are. So I've been looking all over for you. This place is this is closed. What's going on? Where's um, Basel and Desert Choice and Buckeye Union? I wanted you guys to show me around this great school. Oh, I know what's going on. I know. 
I'm not fooling you. I wish I could give all you guys a hug and shake your hands, and, but it's just not possible. I want to thank you and congratulate you for having such patience with this weird spring and this weird senior year. But I know uh, Dr. Sanders and Miss Dale and the faculty and staff, they've got great ideas for your graduation. So never fear, it's gonna be fine. Um, you know, Jared's here too. He's our son, he's graduating. We're really proud of him. And uh, I wanna thank everybody that's helped him along. Um, I've got a real easy message for you guys that I think is really important because you're launching in a very challenging time. So here it is. I want you to take care of each other. I want you to have each other's back. I want you to be kind to each other. It's as simple as that. And if you can do that, oh my gosh, you can achieve your dreams. I know you can. I know you can. I've got faith in you. Your parents say you're ready to graduate from here. Your teachers say you're ready. I hope you think so. And your diploma says so. It says you've mastered what these fine folks have taught you over the years. And there's no time to lose. So what I want to do in the next few minutes is talk to you about a few lessons I've learned along the way that might, might save you some time. We'll see. The first one is, the parents are going to love this one, but I don't know if you will. I want you to survive the summer and live and launch into adulthood. And I say that because sadly every summer, every summer after graduation, we lose a few to car accidents and drunk drivers and texting while driving and stuff. You guys know right from wrong. But especially this year, no large gatherings, please. Infecting mom and dad and grandma and grandpa, that's not cool. Please, please, you know what to do. So launch into adulthood. I need you to be civil be kind and be respectful. Politicians in this country, and I know you've studied all this, are yelling at each other. Nobody's listening anymore. And we've got to be respectful and kind and nice so you can hear each other and so we can learn and carry on and move this country forward. I need you to talk to your parents. And I think you think you're the first generation to discover sex and drugs and rock and roll. But I'm here to tell you, it's not so. Your parents were here where you are now in the blink of an eye ago, and they know what happens next. So please sit down with them and ask them about what have they learned so far in this marvelous life? What lessons can they tell you about love, about money, about jobs and careers, and how to achieve your goals? And I bet you'll be surprised what they tell you, and I think it'll help. I want you to be really flexible, especially now during this pandemic. I want you to be able to pivot if you can't get your goal right away. And I'll give you an example from, from my life. Um, I always wanted to be a Navy pilot, the guy in the front seat. But when I joined up and I took the physical, I flunked the eye test. It wasn't quite good enough, I was wearing glasses. And then, to my surprise, I flunked the Navy psychiatric exam. And you go, what? Psych a psych test? Yeah. So I'm going to give you the psych test. Let's see what you get. you got to answer now. Do you consider yourself a slob or a snob? Okay. And would you rather take a walk in the desert by yourself, play a game of ping pong or tennis, or be on a soccer team or a football team? Well, at that point, a lot of the guys got up and left because they, they, they wanted to be a pilot and nothing else. And I said, well, isn't there something else I can do? And they said, well, you can be a navigator. And I said, okay, I'll do that. The guy in the back seat. It made all the difference. I had a fabulous career because I was able to pivot, be a little resilient on the spot. So please tuck that one away. I also need you to be leaders. I know. I was the shy kid uh, in school. I sat in the back of the room and I didn't say much. And I was on the cross country team. When I was running a race one day, it had never occurred to me to plan ahead to see where the course went because, you know, I always came in 
near last, in the middle somewhere. Well, halfway through the race, it was nuts. I was in the lead and there's nobody, nobody ahead of me. And I was so stunned, I had to slow down. I was passed up by five other runners and I came in sixth place and I thought, ah, never again am I letting that happen. So watch the leaders around you and try to understand what they do and why they do it. And be ready because leadership will come to you when you least expect it. Next point I want to make is I need you to be very proud of our country, but I want you to be a bit humble about it and really smart about it. What I mean by that is please don't believe the first thing you read on social media, the thing you see on Instagram, the, the first rant from your friends, the first thing you see on television or read in the newspaper. You've, you're educated. You're high school graduates. Know the issues and please make up your own mind. And then you can really participate with us in this great experiment called the United States of America. And oh, by the way, I think all of you now are at least 18 and there's an election coming up in six months. It might be your first one. This is special and it matters. So tell me, how many of you are registered to vote? Really? Find out, please. How many of you are voting in the fall? No, 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 I need 100%. There's a ghostly echelon of men and women who died for your right to vote. And I need to see you in November at the ballot box or voting by mail on the internet, however it works out. But you gotta do this. This is critical to everybody's future. Another one is I know all of you have dreams and goals. I've talked to your teachers, but here's the thing. To achieve those dreams, you gotta tell the right people about them. And what I mean by that is the people who can make it happen for you. They'll think of you differently, and when those opportunities come up, your chances of getting what you want are far greater. My big break in my military career, my Air Force side of the career, was when I was the commander of an Air Force squadron in Alaska. But I learned years later that the only reason I got the job is I was the only one that asked for it. It was unbelievable, something as simple as that. So keep that one in mind. And I know you all know the difference between right and wrong, and you've got your moral compasses set right. You know where true north is. You know what to do. But I'm telling you, make sure you know where that is now in the calm times, because throughout life, there'll be temptations, there'll be shortcuts. Don't take them. And if you see a buddy straying across a line, bring him back, help him out. Now, I'm gonna give you a story ripped from the headlines and then we'll close. I hope you've been following the news about a Navy captain named Brett Crozier. He was until recently the commanding officer of the USS Theodore Roosevelt, one of our premier aircraft carriers. Well, Captain Crozier was coming across the Pacific and more and more of his people and he was responsible for 4,800 of them, were infected with the coronavirus. And he pleaded for help, and he wasn't getting it. So when his message went public, the Navy fired him. And go to social media, go to Facebook, you can, you can see him coming off the ship for the last time, and hundreds of sailors are chanting his name and cheering him on. Happily now, the Navy's reconsidering and they may put him back in the position. And I hope they do, it's the right call. So I offer him up to you as an example of someone who takes care of his people, who has your back, who is decisive and compassionate at the same time. So that's it, easy, easy stuff. So these are mandatory. I want you to survive the summer and I want you to vote in the fall. Now after that, I want you to pick from my list and please do these as soon as you can, okay? These are your action steps. I need you to talk to your parents. I need you to be civil, nice and respectful. I need you to be as flexible and as resilient as you possibly can be. I need you to be ready to lead. I need you to be smart about being a patriot. And I need you to vote, I said that. And I need you to do the right thing for the right reason. If you can do all that, you, the class of 2020, will be on the leading edge 
helping us get through this pandemic time and bringing the country back where it needs to be and to greater horizons yet. So, graduates of the Buckeye Learning Center, I'm really proud of you, all of you. So, go to it. Now, before I leave this virtual stage, I need to introduce the next speaker. A friend of mine, a friend of yours, I hope, he is the superintendent of the Buckeye Union High School District, and he was recently awarded uh, um, the title of Superintendent of Arizona of the Year, and that's Mr. Eric Godfrey. Good evening. On behalf of the Buckeye Union High School District Governing Board, District Administration, and our building administration and staffs, I would like to congratulate the graduates being recognized tonight. As you have heard tonight, the paths these graduates have taken to get to this point are as many as there are graduates, each having its own circumstance and story. I would also like to thank the parents, guardians, and the loved ones who, through their support, helped these remarkable young men and women accomplish this first of many dreams to come true. Buckeye Union High School District Learning Center Bulldogs, Class of 2020, we cannot become who we are going to be by remaining who we are today. Sometimes it seems that everyone has a clear idea of how you should lead your life, but the key is for you to know who you are, who you want to be, and take action to get there. All you have to do is start. Dr. Sanders, would you please request the conferring of the Buckeye Union High School District Learning Center graduating class of 2020. Mr. Godfrey, on behalf of the faculty of the Buckeye Union High School District Learning Center, it is with pride that I certify to you that the members of the 2020 graduating class of Buckeye Union High School District Learning Center have completed the course of study prescribed by the Buckeye Union High School Governing Board and have met all requirements of the Arizona State Board of Education for high school graduation and are therefore eligible to receive their diplomas. Dr. Sanders, on behalf of the Governing Board and Administration of Buckeye Union High School District Number 201, I extend congratulations to each graduate with your assurance that the members of the Class of 2020 have completed the required state and local graduation requirements, I authorize the conferring of diplomas. Jared Wesley Canelos. Josh Michael Philo. Vanessa Guevara. Luke Anthony Herrick. Aaron Robert Michael Holmes. Larrick Lena Louise Joe. Justin Lee Lavender. Juan Francisco Lerma. Julio Cesar Lazada Jr. Jacob Matthew Jason Martucci. Tori Renee Medlin. Miranda Teresa Mondino. Cynthia Callie Kimberly Newman. Robert Dale Newnham. Juan Angel Oliveras Ruiz. Isaiah Perez. Adrian Alonzo Ponce Juarez. Cheyenne Hunter Rohr. Aaron Rihanna Santiago. Michaela Lynn Soche. Keaton Robert Sainamon. Andres Omar Venegas Vite. Matthew Lawrence Warren. I would like to introduce Mrs. Marissa Lees, the counselor at the Learning Center, as she leads students in the turning of the tassel. Graduates, at this time, a long-standing tradition with graduation ceremonies is the turning of the tassel. 
symbolizing one's tr transition from student to graduate. This is your special moment. At this time, please turn your tassel from right to left. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the Buckeye Union High School District graduates in the class of 2020. We are so proud of you. Congratulations.